While we were staying in Metro Manila, Philippines, we looked at numerous condominium units around Mandaluyong, a preferred district in the region. There are many restrictions on foreign citizens owning land, but condos are much easier to own. We used word of mouth from relatives and friends, developer websites, some real estate consolidator websites, but Facebook Marketplace was by far the most useful and fruitful. After two months of looking, we settled on the Soho Central Building. We liked the building, the amenities and the management, and we loved the walkable location near several major malls, a metro station, and many services like massage and a climbing gym. Even though it was for investment purposes, we wanted a unit we could also like to stay in. We'd bought and sold several properties in the U.S. And from the beginning, the Philippine process had significant differences. Many condo resales like ours are with overseas owners, so special powers of attorney are standard. The process was so manual and paper intensive that we had to have SPAs of our own to get anything done. Also, nobody involved was full-time in real estate, so all of our meetings with the seller agents were in a Starbucks. Full-time settlement lawyers aren't a thing, so we had to enlist our own lawyer to review everything, though some friends and family use accountants or another agent. Document notarization was a separate process that took an extra day or two. For closing, there was no escrow to secure funds in advance, so all transactions were person-to-person -person or bank-to-bank. -bank. It's common for the price to include closing costs and the seller's capital gain taxes. We did get a discount for paying cash in full, and the unit was only available because another buyer had applied for a loan nine months before, and it was still pending. We did a dollar-to-dollar -dollar transfer using the official exchange rate on the settlement date, but we didn't get the keys until 36 hours later since the transfer had to clear. A dollar to peso transfer could have taken up to four days. But we still weren't done, as we had to deal with the building and their specific transfer of ownership process, which took another three days. And transferring electrical service is in person at a Moralco office and tied to the deed of sale. So, patience and trust are required in bucket loads. And be prepared for scheduling conflicts, two plus hour traffic delays, and last minute requirements popping up. It's a safe bet to double or triple whatever time you're told it will take. Overall, we're happy with our purchase to diversify our investments and have a place we can use in Metro Manila. But even after doing a lot of research, it's not a commitment to take on lightly.